see what we're dealing with here. This will help keep you on your feet, along with anyone else fool enough to join you. That's all you get for now. Get me more components and I'll make more. Now get out of here. I'm tired of your... Yeah, yeah. Use to augment the power of your ranged weapons. When equipped, a weapon generates mod power by inflicting damage on enemy targets. When the power meter is full, press F to pay respects to activate the weapon mod. Okay. Uh, activate immediately. Others activate on an alternate fire mode for the weapon, allowing you to shoot powerful projectiles with a devastating effect. Weapon mods can be equipped by going into the inventory, selecting a ranged weapon, hitting X to equip a weapon mod to that weapon. Two. So do we have it automatically equipped or no? No, we don't. Creates a healing pool that heals 10 per second, last 10 seconds. That's pretty cool. Uh, I feel like I chose the perfect class, especially if I'm soloing at some points by myself. You can tell when good it's a cutscene because there's quit. a little bar right Riggs here. Cave do good work. But now it's not I there. I hope this will be enough to get you on your way. We can't leave by the gates now, but the founder, my grandfather, gave me this key years ago. He said we should only use it when there's no other choice. Well, we are out of choices. Considering you stuck your neck out for us, it seems... There's a terminal downstairs in the main room. Use... With any luck, we can... Uh, don't thank me, just... Alright. Uh, so now we need to go all the way down to this terminal. Uh, I think we're... About to open it up. Is it right here? Or further? Yeah, it's right here. Put the key in. Initialize Delta. E -e. What? I've seen this thing so many times, but the cool thing is, I mean, even all the streams I've watched, I've never actually it, but experienced the cutscenes or listened to them. Working. So, this red eye. I don't care what you say. The bonfire is the might best. Might be our only door to the outside world now. You want to get out of here? This is your shot. My grandfather was the commander before me. They called him. The founder of Ward 13. He brought everyone to Ward 13 when the Root first attacked. He was determined to learn where the Root came from. He spent so much and One day... He knew the outside world better than anyone here. It's easier to think he's dead. There's a room just outside the Ward. All his notes, any hint of where he went, it's there. If you want to reach the atoll, he may be the last one who knew how to get there. Listen, I know this has all been a bit rough for you. For everyone. But you came through for us. For that, I'm grateful. You're welcome back anytime. Oh, Good thanks. Luck. Not like I just... Turned on all the power here for you, anyways. All right, progress, good old progress. Session is now joinable. Okay, activate the red crystal in Word Thirteen. Soldier Pat, let's do it. Character levels up, they receive, receive a single trait point. The no traits right now. Ah, there's your advance. Just got into the dungeon. 
will play after. Oh, okay. Are you doing a dungeon in like WoW or what I game? Oh, um, ESO. ESO, yep, I <laughs> guessed it. I didn't even think about that. One sec, just responding real quick. All right, I think we are all set. And that gave Soldier Bat a little bit extra time too. Um, okay, so. How do we do this? So you touch the thing, travel, world settings, campaign, select game mode, travel, founders hideout. Yes. Lurking needs sleep. No problem, Ben. Hey, man, chill out. And uh, get some sleep if you need it, actually. Tip dodging and sprinting. Depletes your stamina. Uh, really? I thought it would increase it. All right, let's give this a shot. Oh man, oh man. Read. Pa, I'm dying. No two world ways about it. Can all be heroes. You're the only person in the world who thinks he can stop the route. You know that. The rest of us here are just trying to live our lives best we can. Me and Ellen have had to do it without you. I ain't gonna tell you to stop. Not again. Just don't think you're sacrificing for us. We've sacrificed enough. Always your daughter, Nadine. What's what is the labyrinth? scary the old church that's freaky this game looks pretty good not gonna lie not gonna lie do you know I love you I'm sorry sorry for so many things worlds won't fix leaving to speak with the root mother in the old church past the subway tunnel tunnel she'll show me the path from away from this world and then I'll be gone Goodbye. Oh god. She went to see the root mother. So the root is essentially these demons uh creator or like the root mother. World's pretty cool looking. Can we break them in here? Nah. No. Oh, 
Nice. Got him. I actually really like this gun so far. Scrap 15. That medium to long range is, uh, or medium to, it's, uh, I would say it's medium to, uh, technically it's medium short, but it feels a little bit like it can go a good distance. Definitely not as long as the hunter's rifle. Um, even though I haven't dealt with that yet, but it's kind of like a, a mix between a, uh, a rifle and a shotgun in a way. So check out over here. Iron. Got this. Can we break? Okay, so you can. Doesn't look like we can go anywhere else on the other side. I feel like this is the type of game where you want to explore. You want to check every alley, crevice, uh, building. See if you can find any better loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Frenzy dust. Not exactly sure what that does. Can't go this way. That used to be an elevator. I hear something. Uh, I I bet you if I kept going this way, yeah. It would have taken me into that room. Where's this lead though? Oh! <laughs> I'll take that. Long gun ammo. I'm actually excited to be able to play with, oh man. Uh, with Soldier Pat here once he's done because from my, I think there's a little bit of an XP boost when playing with other people. Um, and then also, I think that you you kind of get more uh, more stuff drops because if if I pick up um, scrap and things like that, technically Soldier Pack gets it, or anyone else that you're playing with, and then if they do the same, you get it also. So that's a, a nice feature, uh, very game friendly. The checkpoint on the other side of this. Okay. Seems like we're gonna have to go all the way around. It's weird having all the this open space. The shooting is very satisfying. Oh god. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh no! Oh, sketch. Oh. I'm over here. Oh, I don't like that. 
the heck is that thing? Nice. Oh, I did not see this dude. He's almost dead. Nice. It's kind of rough there. Is he auto going to heal? How do I stop the bleeding? Adrenaline, you suffer a deep wound. You're receiving damage over time and healing is halved. Oh. <laughs> Why? Is it only until I stop bleeding? Or do I have to find like a piece of something? Uh, inventory, adrenaline, movement speed, boost rate of fire and reload for 15%, liquid, return to the less activated checkpoint. That's pretty cool. Survivor bag. Rates, okay. Oof. I took a, a good amount of damage then. I'm assuming each time you die, you go back to the, uh, the last checkpoint. Oh. It goes all my, f uh, dragon hearts or whatever they're called. Something right here. Nice. So that's this game's version of a chest. The red drops are uh, ammo. Oh, that's close. I thought the the red drops were um, health. Actually, like little vials of health that you instantly picked up. But apparently it's ammo, ammo. Ugh. I have no more healing. I don't know if I want to go up either because I'm afraid that I'm going to die. I'm trying to get to like a checkpoint or something. Down here. Space to vault over obstacles. Is there any other tips? Tips or tricks? Got a checkpoint right here, thankfully. Whew. All that set. Resting uh, replenishes ammo and dragon hearts at the cost of respawning all basic enemies in the world. Multiplayer resting also respawns any fallen allies. All players must be using a checkpoint in order to rest. Okay. Cool. Surprise there. I wish there was like a an option where you could make your game open for any players. Doesn't look like there is though. At least not at the moment. Ugh. Camera Bob, let's turn that off. Yeah, like that. 
Now we're entering now entering Marrow Pass. Right that. Bring it. Nice trade point. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, I need to get my dodging on point. Otherwise, this game is going to be a struggle for me. Oh. Crystal. Take that. Well, that was crap. I got... Three belts in one dun dungeon. What the hell? That sucks. Well, uh, now you can get some scrap with me. Should I go back to the checkpoint, Pat? Or are you able to join in like at any spot? Because I don't even know how the matchmaking works. Grab all that. Now I keep playing. I'll see if I can join Sesh. Okay, sweet. Just noticed it doesn't show me any of my bitrate status or any of that anymore. Streamlabs had a new update and um, ever since. Now I just, I'm just now noticing that there's no uh, information for like drop frames or any of that. Let's see if I have to, can I click that? Let's show it all the time. You have to scroll over it to see the data. All right, whatever. Oh, I'm over here thinking those are boxes. Soldier Pat has joined the game. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Um. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me. Uh, I'm not gonna sit down at the checkpoint, but I'm gonna invite you in Discord. Oh, it lets you join live? Yeah, apparently I have uh, permission to do that. I accidentally clicked on it, and I was in. Also, hello. Also, hello. <laughs> um, I'm just watching you right now, so you might have to... Okay. It's a little rough, thank you. Uh, yeah, I might have to. Waiting for all players. There we are. Yeah. What are the two uh, health bars? Consumables can be used to replenish ammo, heal your character, soothing status effect. Okay, infected. Team, we, have, we have a new uh, teamwork thing. A what? Which is the XP gain, the, uh, the trade section. I don't know if you noticed that. Oh, really? Increased oh, teamwork. Damage resistance, XP gain, and mod power gain. So um, for me, it's only... Wait, what level is your teamwork? Oh, it's one, because I, I didn't do co-op yet. It's only there for co-op. For me, it says teamwork range. 16. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, in that range, it's increased damage resistance. Oh. My power, so you have to be near them. Oh, I'm looking at the... Just increase the range. The trait, like, in the trait menu. I didn't look at the one in the bottom left. Oh, yeah. I see increased damage resistance, EXP gain, mod power. I mean, when near it. Uh, teammates. All right, I'm gonna take a little health boost. Character. Um. Okay, one sec. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick, and then we'll be good for more. BRB. One sec.
should have gotten some water. That's okay. Okay. Um. All right. This is where the game got weird. Hold on, let me turn. I need to my game down just a tiny bit. So it's kind of loud compared to you. Say something. Say something. Something. Alright, I think that's good. Ah! Switch button option. Oh, X. Cover me. Wait, what's X? Oh, that's swip. Swap. It's so nice that when you pick up stuff, it picks up stuff from there. Huh? Game's so loud. Game's so loud. Ah! Holy hell. Is friendly fire? Yes. Okay. Ow. It's okay, I can heal us. What are the three... You have three, like, health bars. What is that? Oh, uh, I think that's the amount of times you can get revived. Oh, really? Before, like, mm -hmm. you're officially dead, dead? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Cool. Got that. Neato. Was not expected. Pat, there's two guys by me. All oh, big boys. Boomer. Summons people. Apparently, I haven't seen that guy yet. You're playing in sick girl. <laughs> Goddamn right, I am. Strong, independent woman who don't need no man. <laughs> Whoa there. 